very peaceful here, serene, overlooking a field with nobody in it, apple trees, pine trees, the wind is from the mountain down this way, prevailing wind, and you always have that sweet smell of the pines coming in, and all the conifers, it's a very idyllic setting, I love this place. Okay, sports fans, it's Coast Buster time again. We are here, what's today, October 4th. I got here on the 1st. It's been so busy, I haven't had a chance to take the camera out. Took it out tonight. Very peaceful. Everything's calm, no wind to speak of. Everything smells good. We'll be back when the action starts. And you know who ain't afraid of no coast, right? Uh, this is a couple hours later after the owl. I'm just leaving my buddy's house having dinner. Got some nice eggplant palm. And I stop and look at this. Full moon tonight. That's beautiful. I just passed a flock of turkeys on my quad. Coming up this road, so I stopped. That doe knew something was up. It was way over there. And I turned to do something, and by the time I looked back, it was standing right in front of me here. And it saw me. There'll be more. smoke, right? Mm. 
not only was I smoking, but look what's behind me. I'm inside of a blind. Is that too cool or what? Freaking owl hooting. Three deer in front of me, one behind the tree. They're looking right at me, I'm talking. Tomorrow I'm going to bring my owl call. Have fun with that. Tell you, that is one horny owl. He hasn't quit for like a half an hour. No, no other owls are answering him back either. Or her. I don't know if it's a her or him. Man, give me one more hoot. Come on. It's pretty regular every like about every thirty seconds. Pretty cool. Alrighty, in the middle of our hunting, during the day, been doing a lot of firewood, dragging trees down here, bulldozer's running great, right now I'm headed up to the field, give it one last cut before the winter, it's high enough, could use one more, bulldozer's running great. And we got that firewood pile yet to go up on the conveyor belt. I'm going to get some help up here. Be up by myself right now. I got to siphon some gas out of this. I ended up buying 10 gallons yesterday. I threw it all in the dozer. Uh, I probably got three quarters of a tank in this. I put about three or four gallons in this, baby. Go cut the field. We'll talk to you later. I just went cruising with my quad down to the Bushwhackers Gun Club. All these guys are up here for a work weekend. Oh, there's a shitload of them there. Most of them in the cabin. And even the neighbor. That's Carl over there. Anyway, Tony, what the fuck are you going to do? We're going to do magic. Uh, magic? Oh, man. Look at that shit. <laughs> You're a YouTube star already. How we do it in the bushwhackers. <laughs> treasurer? Who the fuck's the treasurer in here? Nice. It's two, what, 50 foot trailers put together? The wall knocked out in the center here. Bedrooms on both sides, bathrooms. Getting ready for dinner? Yeah. Where's Frankie? Sleeping already?
just opened the door this morning. There's a big doe standing right outside here. Too bad, it's like sort of behind the tree. Come on, move a little. At the same time, got the sausages, the eggs, put them on a nice roll. Eating weeds. There you go. Biggest one I've seen around here so far. It's got to be over a hundred pounds. But how'd you go? Here's a couple of days later, and there's, I don't know, six, eight turkeys right in the driveway. Oops. Turkeys inhabit this property. They're everywhere on this property. Everywhere I go with my quad, I see the leaves all ripped up. Pretty cool. A lot of wildlife here. This, right after the turkeys is about 15 minutes later. Go. See anything but those around here? We had one buck on the cameras, a spike, one nub at least. Maybe tried to be a three pointer. Cool. I went and checked my camera today at my tree stand. What holds the camera? Right there. And lo and behold, there was a picture of a beautiful eight-point buck. So the rut is starting here. And I'm just sitting in the tree right now, looking around at all the colors. It's just beautiful up here. It's about 60 degrees, 55 maybe. Gentle breeze. So oh, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 5.15, something like that. And I'm waiting for the 8-pointer to come back. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's all downhill over there. Over here is up the mountain. It's all straight up. He was standing right there in front of the camera. Awesome. By the way, he was standing there at 12.45 in the afternoon. You never see an eight-point buck at 12.45 in the afternoon unless the rut is starting. And 
um, ready for him. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's the mother with the two kids. Very cool. Well, I'll tell you, today's October 30th, 2017. Yesterday, the 29th, we had that nor'easter tropical storm come up the coast and meet with the one coming out from the west. Normally, these covert ditches are dry. I went around this morning, my truck it was still raining, and this water is unbelievable, as you're going to see. pole here, running down over there, show you where that comes out. This one is normally dry too. There's a trail right here where you cross in the trail 
heading down, close the power line, heading for the reservoir. Look at the water coming down through the woods here. We never see this. This is always dry. It poured here last night. Very cool. This normally has a trickle. It's the path of the overflow from the pond. It opened up like four new streams here. Look at it, going in all different directions. Wiping out the path. Wow, too. Look at that water. And then it's way to the reservoir. Everything is downhill here. This is where those streams I was showing you above end up down on the power line. To this culvert ditch. There's another one back there too. And they all head downhill that way. And we got a pipe under the road here that goes into those woods over there. Right under the power line. Pipe won't go any further than that. Under the road, down on this side. A lot of water. A lot. We had some hell of a rainstorm last night, huh? Yeah. You got to see all the streams around here. Streams you that weren't even ever streams. Now we're going to take this tree down here. It's a little too much for me to handle. You know how rotted it is? These guys are professionals. if it falls, going. all these other it's trees going. will block it. There it goes. Beauty! Success! Can we put it back up? <laughs> Let's go see it. That's a nice, nice drop though, where it fell. It's perfect. Yeah. Rigged this bitch right down the mountain. That is rotten. Look at that. You only had three of these, right, Jeff, over here?
She's prime meat for a rotten buck. The big doe, probably 110 pounds, 120 pounds. For around here, that's big. She's going back where she came from. This is cool stuff. You'll only see this on Coastbuster TV. There's an owl hooting in the distance. I'm going to give him a call back. Haven't heard back from it. Oh well. Last time I did that, the damn owl came and landed right in that tree branch. Right there, that little branch to the left. Couldn't believe it. I got it on video too. Here, watch. I just wasn't that quick with the video. It's only about a three second clip. Freaking owl landed in the tree right next to me. That was unbelievable. That owl's been hooting. What's the chances of that? I got it on film. Opened the door this morning. There's three deer sitting there. Three does. Three deer right here. pretty wild. I just drove up here with my quad. The three, the mother and the two fawns, were bedded down. Right about over there. They let me drive within 10 feet of them. They just stood there and looked at me. I parked the quad right down there. Get off, climb up the ladder and sit in my tan. And where are they? Still right there. Like nothing happened. They, they know me. It's like a game farm here. Oh well. But there's rutting bucks. And they're smelling. Hopefully they'll be around. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Thursday, November 2nd, 2017. So, Mikey finally made it! Yay! Yeah. For the first crossbow season, he just bought a crossbow. 2017, yeah, this will be the first year we've sighted in. Cool. We and just uh, drove up to the top of the mountain. You look over this cliff, it's nothing but down. That's the steep side. That's the steep That's side. That's really steep. Yeah, you still got to check that out. We have to take the dozer up there. And Seen somebody put a chair on that side of the trail? That's mine. Have you put that there? <laughs> All right. We'll be uh, back to you later. Farewell. All right. We just came down out of the mountain. Need two hands on this quad at the rough road. Otherwise, I would have filmed it. Hello. Hey. How you doing? That's a rough road, right? Yeah. Yeah, the white rain washed really washed out. that out. Looks like a use, river came through it. I could use a bulldozer pass. Yeah, definitely. You want to change the... Uh... All right, let's head down to the pond. All right, we just came down out of the mountain. There's Mike coming up the trail in back of me.
be quite a great. I wouldn't want to walk that. You'll be here in a second. <laughs> 